Hey kids, it's Miss Drager here. Earlier this week I watched a video about how much time some animals spend sleeping and I was so surprised by what I learned. Today I wanted to share what I found with you and at the same time we're going to practice some fractions. So, how much do different animals sleep each day? Well, before we answer that, it's important to know how many hours are in a day. How many hours are there in a day? I think you already know this, but just in case you forgot, there are 24. Looking at this chart, we can see what fraction of every day an animal spends sleeping. Notice I included humans. After all, we're animals too. Our job today will be to use the fractions we are given for how much each of these animals sleep and create an equivalent fraction to show exactly how many hours of the day those animals sleep. Now, if you already know how to do this, you can stop this video and go over to Google Classroom right away to finish filling out the table and answer the questions that are below it. But if you're confused, no worries. I'm gonna walk you through this. First, let me open my document. To do. Hmm. Okay. Our table here shows the animals we are looking at and the fraction of the day they spend sleeping. Right now, these fractions are hard to compare because they have unlike denominators. Not just that, we want to know how many hours they sleep every 24 hour day. For us to do that, we're going to need to create equivalent fractions with a denominator or whole. Of 24. Stick with me here. Looking at a newborn human, we can see that babies sleep 16 24ths of a day, meaning they sleep 16 hours out of every 24 hour day. That's a lot of sleep. The fraction of the day the newborn human sleeps was already given to us with a denominator of 24, so we don't need to make a new equivalent fraction. Our job on this one is done. Let's move on to the 9 to 10 year old human, i.e. you. Our table says that you should sleep 5 twelfths of the day. To figure out how many hours a day that is, we are going to need to create an equivalent fraction that reflects how many hours that equals a day, which again is 24 hours. That means we didn't need a denominator of 24. Well, let's see. Let me get my scratch paper out. I have two strategies. First, I'll show you the area model. So I've drawn five twelfths, meaning five out of twelfths, for how many hours, or what, how many fractions of hours you should sleep a day. To turn this into 24 hours, or a denominator of 24, I'm going to decompose my units, and I'm first gonna just try breaking them each into two and see if that is enough. Notice I'm breaking them evenly or else this won't work. I'm being very careful to break each one by the same amount. All right, let me see if I have 24 units in all. Yep, I do. And 10 are filled in. That means 5 twelfths is equivalent to 10 24ths. The second strategy I have is a little quicker, but you need to know your times tables for it. To make equivalent fractions, we had to decompose units into smaller fractional units. When we turned our 12 units above into 24, we had to decompose each unit into two smaller units. It's the same thing here. To get to 24, I need to multiply 12 times 2. To make an equivalent fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number of units, just like we did above. So I have to multiply 5 times 2 also. 5 times 2 is 10. That means a 9 to 10 year old needs 10 hours of sleep every day. Now, how many of you are getting that? Let's do this next one together. Adult humans should sleep one third of the day. For us to see how many hours that is, we're gonna need to create a denominator that shows 24 hours in a whole day. 
This time, I'm going to skip straight to the multiplication strategy. Three times what equals 24? Let me draw my arrow. I know I'm multiplying, but let's check our times table chart to see how much I need. I uploaded a link in your assignment. 3 times something gives me a product of 24. Let me go down until I get to 24. There it is. Ah, 3 times 8, right there. All right. So I multiplied 3 times 8 to get to 24. If we're building an equivalent fraction, that means we need to multiply the numerator by the same number of units. 1 times 8. Huh, that's tricky. Just kidding. That's 8. So adults need to sleep eight hours of every day. Okay, go tell your adults at home that. And then go complete your assignment. Good luck.